Welcome back to the uh, 6.8 liter garage or 6.8 liter laptop as the case may be. Uh, I'm not going to get out in the garage today. It's 110 here today. The garage isn't air conditioned, so that ain't happening. But I've been playing with something that came to, came to mind. Um, I can't draw. I can't draw worth a damn. But um, AI, AI is here to stay and uh, I think we might be able to leverage that a little bit. So let's see. I've been playing with a Bing image creator, so owned by Microsoft. So share with them what you want the world to know, I guess. But so this is where it brings you, and it's a text to image thing, and there's no um, copyright issues if you use it for your projects or whatever. It doesn't cost anything. Um, they do give you these, I think they give you 15 of these little tokens. So every time you do it, it counts down. And then when you run out of tokens, it goes much slower. But so some of the stuff I was playing with today, I asked it to do uh, three pine trees. And I asked it to do a moose. Um, some of the keywords I came up with that seemed to help is simple. So the subject is bull moose. But I added simple, bull moose, black and white, 2D, and silhouette. Um, if, if you don't give it some of that guidance, you get some really detailed um, drawings. <laughs> that was supposed to be a Texas flag. Um, this is a Ford logo. And you get all this stuff that interesting, maybe good for something else, like a cricket you know, sticker cutter or something like that but they're not very uh, plasma torch friendly uh, I think this is one that I like so when you give it an instructions it generates four images and this second one here um, seems very cuttable with a CNC plasma the only thing I see for sure you're going to lose is this piece of antler here but I would just delete it anyway and cut it out. So, um, before we do something with one of those, let's try to generate one. So, I'm going to change bull moose to um, Corvette, and let's see what we get. I'm not may not be anything we can use, but. So as you can see, my little tokens down to three. When you run out of tokens, it takes forever for it to generate something. So go play with it. Um, so as you can see, some pretty cool drawings, but not probably not going to be very plasma cutter friendly, even though it had the keyword simple in it. But I kind of like the drawing. Um, so that one's pretty good. Some of these Labrador Retriever ones I did are pretty good. You can probably take them in and cut them, but um, I don't know. Some of this stuff you'd end up with a really spiky black, uh, depending on what you're doing with it, I guess, but they're all editable. Um, I'm going to take this moose one that I did and um, we'll import that to, whoa, that's not the one I want. So download this. And so now we've got this moose. Just move it to the desktop for a second. And I'm going to open up Inkscape. Say a new document and set my defaults to the stuff I like. Not anti metric, I'm just non metric. And then we can import that drawing. Desktop. Oh, moose. So 
we've got our moose and trace bitmap. It's already up over here. And then I'll say apply. Now we can drag the path off and delete the image. And so now we've got a path of a moose. You see the nodes of the path. It's pretty simple. We can try simplify, see what that does to it. Might make him a weird shape. I would still use that. And then the other thing I see that I would change right off the bat is I'm using control and arrows to move around. Uh, I'll click this. I would delete this. Delete those two nodes to get rid of that piece of antler. And I think that's it. And uh, resize the image. Content. So there you have a moose silhouette that you could cut out of your cut out with your um, arc droid or any other CNC plasma and shouldn't have any problems with anybody else's uh, copyright issues if you're worried about that and you don't have to be able to draw which is good for me uh, anyway this is a short a short video um, due to the heat and inaccessibility of my garage but uh, hopefully someone will get something out of that Anyway, thanks for watching.